जय भगवान सत्संग द बुक सेल्फ आई मी माइन एंड आवर्स रिटर्न इन 2002 सत मींस गॉड एंड संग मींस एसोसिएशन एवरीवन नीड्स गाइडेंस एंड इंस्पिरेशन टू कंटिन्यू ऑन द पाथ विथ एंथुजियाजम एसोसिएशन विथ अ ग्रुप gathered for spiritual purpose becomes satsang when there are more than one gathered in my name there i am buddha teaches sangam sharanam gachami i take refuge in the company of holy man that is called satsang people with a restless mind find peace in the devotional and peaceful environment of group being in the company of evolved master become satsang because their positive energy is transmitted to those who are near them places where meditation is a major activity will provide a spiritual uplifting atmosphere so all the holy pilgrimages temples churches synagogues mosques wherever people gather together for prayers or meditation there is spiritual vibration so just being there inspires you satsang is collective energy like in a forest fire even green green trees burn up very easily along with the dry burning trees same way in the group atmosphere even if you are depressed if you have anxiety you have restlessness your energy will be lifted up because of that collective energy satsang washes the impurities of the mind and brings deep rooted spiritual feeling on the surface one should avoid association with people and situation that awaken deep rooted negative qualities in short we should try to nurture the plants we need and we want to avoid the weeds or kill the weeds then the garden will flourish we have hidden sanskaras we have good qualities and bad qualities hidden within us so with proper at- atmosphere and environment some of the hidden qualities come on the surface some students who were very spiritual in the childhood and it was forgotten it was covered up with worldly activities they come to satsang those old feelings come on the surface so the deep roots never die so we want to revive and encourage them and avoid the association which encourages any of our bad qualities we have a choice of choosing friends to suit our temperament and creating a spiritual environment at home with family members family members should be should sit together eat together meditate together and read scriptures together collective gathering and communication with all family members will save time energy money increase increases bonding and avoid a generation gap so being with family members young children being together eating together brings energy together that is prayer om sahana bhavatu sahana bhunaktu we meditate together and we eat together and this is very essential because in that environment you can communicate and bond together we can be we uh, we cannot be accomplished by intellectual lectures 
or forced discipline can be attained easily by satsang. Satsang is recommended by masters of all cultures and religions. So what you cannot get by just reading, intellectual stimulation or harsh discipline, you can attain in the company of people who have gathered together. So chanting mantra together, holding the hands, chanting Om together, it just brings energy together. We can communi communicate with speech, but that is lower medium of communication. But sound vibration, our presence and that connection is a greater way of communication. People in a group can introduce each other. No matter how much they introduce, they don't feel that closeness as much as they hold the hands and chant on together everyone feels united and together. So the boundaries of space and time is broken by association and that is called satsang. Jai.